Welcome back, Lakeland Sports Intermission Break here with Leo Fitzgerald, sophomore forward, Bemidji State, talking about the, the specs of a hockey stick. And uh, Leo, I just I was back in here a couple weeks ago uh, with Toby, the equipment manager, and I was looking at the blades first of all, and I know I just well, I just uh, really thick at the heel on this blade, and then this one's thin. And what's the deal? And you can tell me why, maybe. All right, well, uh, all players like different uh, preferences, and uh, some are thicker, some are thin. And uh, some blades are a lot longer than others. And obviously the curves are different too. So for my, my stick I have here, um, starting with the shaft, it's a uh, grip. There's a grip texture on it that you can get. And I, for my flex, I have an 85, which is uh, a medium flex. A lot of guys like stiffer sticks. Some guys like a more uh, whippier stick for uh, more torque on the puck. But uh, yeah, for the blades, um, I like a long blade. I think it's the longest blade you can get. I'm not 100% um, sure what, how long it is, but uh, it's called max length. So it's the longest you can get a blade. And as you can tell, it's, it's pretty long if I compare it to another stick back there. But um, I like uh, sandpaper on my stick, it's called. It's like a sandpaper texture, which uh, puts more grip on the puck. And yeah, um, you, kinda, you can uh, send in different uh, um, curves and such like that to the company and uh, they can make it for you and form it for you exactly how you want it. So you're talking about the sandpaper grip on your stick. Uh, what does that do when you put tape over top of it? Um, I don't think, I don't know. A lot of people think uh, it makes the tape a lot, uh, it sticks better, okay. I feel. But uh, if people don't tape their whole blade, they can have grip where there is no tape. Okay, right. And uh, yeah. Very good. And how often do you tape your stick up? Um, I tape it almost once a period once a period yeah really? before every period okay so uh, you're talking about i remember the lie of the stick too yeah. uh, explain that it used to be there would be a five or a six on the back goaltending would be about 14 explain explain that all right well the lie is how it sits on the ice so i think i have a lie five so it depends how tall you are or, mm -hmm. and how uh how you sit uh, your position on the ice so for my lie, I'm five, and I just felt like from using different uh, curves in my day, that five is the right lie for me, right. for how I am uh, positioned on the ice. So that's how it sits. So I believe a lie six would be more of a higher lie, and a high, the lower you go, it sits lower. Right, actually, and, and you take a goaltender's, uh, you know, like this, and it, you know, it's really, There's it's up. Straight up and down. Right, yeah. like that's about a 14 probably. <laughs> okay, so we uh, take a look at, like, I think it was Beaudry's stick here that was really thin at the at the heel of the blade. That's just personal preference, I guess. Eh? Yeah, it's just personal preference, and uh, he just likes the basic, uh, no sandpaper finish. And, uh, yeah, it's just a normal blade. That's that's a normal blade for you, and this is more, mine's more of a medium. As you can tell by looking at mine, mine's a little bit longer than his, if you look at it. Have yeah. you maxed out pretty much? You said the length of the blade oh. and even the heel tier too? No, the, the, I've done the length, but not the height. If you see okay. at other sticks, like, for example, this is Ruslan Bedans, mm -hmm. and he's got the highest blade you can get right here, as you can tell on the heel. Oh, sure. It almost looks like a paddle, so... If you I compare see, those two. Not a bad idea for a defenseman. No. Right? <laughs> not going to miss many pucks of that. Right on. Um, I guess uh, another question for you is, as far as the uh, the stick goes, how many different types did you try until you, you got to this point with Bemidji State? I've tried quite a few. Um, yeah? It's hard to find the, ex the exact one you, uh, you like. And I don't know. A lot of people like to change. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's fairly hard. But uh, it took me a few tries, and I found the one I like. And. And how about yeah. curves? I mean, they, they don't measure for curves anymore. That I guess the manufacturer does that. No, they don't. But uh, for curves, um, this like for Badan, he's got just a basic. Uh, it's not a huge curve, but it's just mm -hmm. I don't know, kind of like a medium curve. And then mine, mine curves right on the toe, as you can tell. Sure. Goes straight and then little hook on the toe. So it all depends who you are and how you shoot the puck. And some people shoot from the heels. Some some players shoot from the toe. So. Good. All depends. Well, thanks for this. Yeah. It's been educational. No problem. Very good. Leo Fitzgerald, sophomore forward, Bemidji State. Be back in just a moment. I like the sports.